Hi everyone and welcome to our first tutorial on Ohm's Law. I'm going to start with a very simple circuit and determine how we can do some calculations involving Ohm's Law. So remember that Ohm's Law is simply stating that the current in a circuit is proportional to the resistance in the circuit. So in other words, as the resistance goes down, the current will go up. Or as the resistance goes up, the current will go down. So it's defined by this formula. We take a look at this example here. And if I gave you a simple circuit like this that has a 9 volt battery and it has one resistor, and we'll say has a value of 18 ohms. We also have two ammeters. This is a series circuit, so the electrons can only flow in one path. So the electrons are going to leave the battery if we follow conventional current flow. It flows here, goes down through A1, that's ammeter A1, and it measures the current. And it continues on down through the resistor, and that current keeps traveling up through ammeter A2 and back to the battery. Now since this is a series circuit, we know that the current flowing through A1 must be equal to the current flowing through A2. To determine what that current is, we can do a calculation. The current in this circuit is equal to the voltage given by the battery or DC power source divided by the resistance in the circuit. So the current is equal to 9 volts divided by 18 ohms. And if we do the division 9 by 18, we get 0 0.5. And the unit for current is amps. So I know that in this circuit here, that there are 0 0.5 amps going through that ammeter down through the resistor back up through this ammeter there will be 0 0.5 amps and then back through to the battery so this is a simple dc circuit with one resistor it is a series circuit because the electrons can only travel in one path that's it for this tutorial Take care. We'll talk to you soon.